let's continue to learn about our animal habitats. Today, in Lesson 5, we're learning about animals of the temperate deciduous forest. Here's what we know so far. All animals need three things to survive. Food, water, and shelter. Listen carefully for the words to know in this story. Climate, the type of weather a place has over a long period of time. An example of this is the climate in the desert is very hot and very different from the climate in the tropical rainforest. Another word is species. A species is a group of living things that have similar characteristics. An example, there are about 70 species of whales. Another word to listen for today is the word store. Store in this story is going to mean to save up for future use, not the type of store we go to to buy things. An example to prepare for the winter, some animals store food. Temperate is our next word to listen for. Not extremely hot or extremely cold. Many places in the United States have a temperate climate. And our last word in our story to listen for is the word territory. A territory is an area in which an animal or group of animals live. An example, many animals protect their territory. The forests we are going to learn about today is the temperate deciduous forests. Here is a map of the world. The highlighted portion shows the temperate deciduous forests all around the entire world. Do you see all those yellow spots? There's temperate deciduous forests all over, including in North America, where we live. Do you see where the red arrow points? Today, we are going to hear about a temperate deciduous forest in the United States, one that is part of the states of Tennessee and North Carolina. This is a picture of a national park called the Great Smoky Mountains. And it is one of the most visited national parks in the United States. The mountains are named for the blue-gray mist that surround the mountain peaks. This is the forest we're gonna visit today. Listen carefully to learn all about our new habitat, the temperate deciduous forest. Here's our friend Rattenborough with the next thrilling chapter in our Habitat Read Alouds. After looking at some very exotic or strange and fascinating faraway places, I thought we could visit a habitat that is quite common in many parts of the United States. This is a forest habitat. You know you're in a forest habitat when everywhere you look there are trees all around you. You may be wondering why I'm up in a tree. Well, I'm enjoying the wonderful view of a forest in North America. There are over 500 acres of forest in this national park. Did you know one acre is about as big as an American football field? Many of you may have seen forests like this before, either in real life or in books. You may be familiar with some of the plants and animals that live here in the Smoky Mountains. A lot of them live in many other places all over the United States. There are many different kinds of forests in the world. The forests of the Smoky Mountains are called temperate forests. A temperate forest grows in an area that has four seasons, including a warm summer, and a cold winter and receives steady rainfall throughout the year. Even though these forests have a warm summer and a cold winter, temperate means it's not extremely hot or extremely cold like in other areas. 
This forest is also called a deciduous forest because it's full of deciduous plants, trees, bushes, and shrubs that lose all their leaves every fall, then grow leaves again when the temperatures start to rise in the spring. The temperate, deciduous forest has a much friendlier climate than the other habitats we've learned about. And it can support many different kinds of plant and animal life. The climate of a habitat is the type of weather a place has over a long period of time. A temperate deciduous forest is made up of a broad leaf tree like oak, maple, beech, and elm. Broadleaf trees have broad or wide leaves. These trees grow very tall and are thickly covered with wide leaves that are better at collecting sunlight than trees like pine trees that have needles instead of leaves. Under these taller trees, there are saplings or young trees, as well as shrubs and bushes and plants that bear or produce fruit. Closer to the ground, grow shorter plants like grasses and wildflowers. I'm going to start at the top and work my way down so I can show you this wonderful habitat. The tree I'm standing in now is an oak tree. This oak is very tall and is covered with leaves and acorns. An acorn is a seed and if it gets planted in the right forest soil, it can grow roots and a shoot and will eventually turn into a mighty oak sapling. Like the saguaro cactus in the desert and the acacia tree in the savanna, oak trees provide shelter and food for many animals. Owls, woodpeckers, mice, and foxes make their homes in the branches or around the roots of the oak tree, and acorns are food for squirrels, birds, deer, and other animals. Look at that tasty insect. Well, the oak tree is home for hundreds of different kinds of insects, like the stink bug and the weevil, which eat its leaves and acorns. Moths and butterflies lie their eggs in the tree. Other insects, like ants and timber beetles, live under the bark of the oak or in the dead or fallen trees. Just as insects are drawn to the oak as a source of food, so are animals that feed on insects. Spiders and all kinds of birds hunt for tasty bugs among the branches of the oak tree. Bears and other animals find food here too. The oak tree is an amazing habitat in itself. Down on the forest floor, there are all kinds of shrubs, the fruit of which are food to many different species of animals, including rabbits, chipmunks, deer, and omnivores like bears. A species is a group of living things that have similar characteristics. Mmm, some of these blueberries are perfectly ripe and they taste delicious. What a tasty treat. Down here on the ground, I can see wildflowers, grasses, and clover. These plants, which cover the forest floor, are home to many types of insects and are food to grazing animals, such as deer and mice. One interesting thing about the plants in a forest is that they often grow leaning in the same direction. Isn't that strange? Why do you think the plants might be leaning in one direction? Well, they have to do that because they are looking for sunlight. The leaves of the big trees get all the sun. Only a small amount of sunlight gets through the forest floor. So that's why it's so shady in here. The plants down here have to grow towards the sun so they can get enough light to make the food they need to survive. You may have seen this fuzzy green stuff growing on rocks, trees, and the ground in the forest or countryside. Mosses are small green plants that grow in clumps in damp and shaded places. They cover parts of the forest floor like a carpet and are home to many small animals and insects. It feels really soft to walk on, thick and spongy, and it tickles a bit. 
Now we're going to take a look at some of the animals that live here. Great Smoky Mountains National Park is home to almost 400 different kinds of animals. Animals that live in the temperate deciduous forest are adapted to living in a habitat with four seasons. The four seasons are spring, summer, fall, and winter. Let's start with the mighty oak tree again. This amazing tree is home to many animals, and I'm standing at the nest of one of them, the gray squirrel. This little animal is covered in warm gray-brown fur with a white chest and a long bushy tail. Squirrels live in holes in the trunks of trees or in nests high up in trees like this one. Their nests are built from twigs, leaves, moss, and grass. Squirrels use their strong back legs and sharp claws to help them leap from tree to tree and to run up and down tree trunks and they use their tails to help them balance. Squirrels are omnivores and spend most of their time looking for food. The squirrel eats mostly acorns from the oak tree, but it also eats nuts, mushrooms, berries, seeds, and even bird eggs and insects. This squirrel might nibble on an acorn or two now, but it will also bury and store or save many acorns underground, so it will have them in the winter when other food is hard to find. A barred owl lives in a hole in this oak tree. I have to be careful because owls are carnivores. That means they like to eat other animals. Unlike the elf owl in the desert, this owl happens to enjoy eating rats. This owl also eats other small animals like mice, insects, and even other birds. Owls have very good hearing and excellent eyesight, which allows them to find their prey easily in the thick forest. Owls are nocturnal, which means they only come out at night. So I have some time before this one is ready for a late night snack. Hold on. What's that scratching sound coming from below? It's a black bear. Black bears are common in North American temperate deciduous forests, and there are more than a thousand in this national park. They are large animals. They weigh as much as 14 first graders would weigh all together. And when they stand on their hind legs, they can be taller than a person. Bears are omnivores and hibernate or sleep during the winter in hollowed out trees or caves. When they are hibernating, bears use less energy and do not need to eat any food for many, many days. This is a good thing because during the winter, the foods that bears eat are scarce and hard to find. Bears are covered in thick black or brown fur and they have sharp claws to strip the bark off trees to uncover the insects that live there. This bear will use its long sticky tongue to get into every crack to hunt out the insects and they'll make a delicious meal for him, I'm sure. I just saw a deer through the trees. Deer often live in the temperate deciduous forest because it is such a great place to stay hidden, but they often hunt for food in neighboring meadows this is a buck. A buck is a male deer, and we can tell the male deer have antlers. Did you know that a buck's antlers fall off every year and will grow back again? Bucks mark their territory by stripping the bark off trees with their antlers. Bucks also use their antlers for fighting with other male deer. This deer is a white-tailed deer. Its coat is tan right now, but in the winter, it will change to a gray-brown, and it has patches of white on the underside. This helps the deer to be camouflaged or hidden in the environment. How do you think the change in color from tan to gray-brown with patches of white in the winter helps camouflage the deer? 
deer graze on grasses and eat tree leaves, berries, and acorns, among other things. They mostly come out to feed at night when the light is low and they rest during the day. This white-tailed deer has strong, long legs, which are good for running and jumping and for escaping from predators like wolves, coyotes, and even people. The temperate, deciduous forest climate can support many different plants and animals because it has four seasons. It is called temperate because it never gets too cold, like the Arctic, or too hot, like the Sonoran Desert. There is a steady rate of rainfall throughout the year, so plants can grow and animals can have food and water to keep them alive. This is just one of the many kinds of forests in the world. Next, we're going to take a look at another kind. It's going to be very different in a lot of ways. I'll see you soon on our next adventure.